Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I will be reviewing an African violet called Sunkissed Rose. It was hybridized by Debbie Herrenshaw at Linden Lion Greenhouses and registered with the African Violet Society of America in 2005 under the registration number 9545. I received this plant from Violet Barn about four months ago in early September 2019 and here is what it looked like when it arrived. It arrived in perfect shape. Sunkist Rose is a standard variety with light green quilted serrated foliage. These leaves are very pretty. They're also glossy. They shine under the light and they are light green and serrated. Standard African violets usually range from anywhere between 8 to 16 inches in diameter across a single crown when they mature. At this point this young plant has reached about 7 inches across and it's rosette. It's still very, very young. It is growing now in a three and a half inch diameter pot. And it's growing on a wick. This is a very young plant and it is in the middle of its first blooming cycle. The flowers of Sunkist Rose are described as double pale yellow ruffled stars with darker eye and thin pink edge on center petals. They truly look like sunkissed roses with very, very delicate coloring on the blooms. You can see at this point the yellow pigment in the, in the center of each bloom. However, because now we are in the cooler growing temperatures in the middle of the winter season, uh, the, the pink pigment is almost absent. It's hard to see the pink in these petals. I am hoping though that as we move into warmer uh, growing environment during the summertime, they will show me some pink uh, colors on the petals and if it if it blooms differently I will definitely make a follow-up video for this one. The blooms are not large they reach about one and a half inches in diameter here they are in comparison to a dime coin. The bloom stalks are rather tall and they are elevated above the rosette and this is the feature that I find very attractive in my in the African violets that are part of my collection. And when it um, blooms in the second cycle and third cycle, it will be a very, very pretty sight when the bloom, tall bloom stalks elevate a whole bunch of blossoms above the rosette. I really like the way it looks. I think for the first blooming cycle it is rather a generous bloomer in my growing conditions. Right now we have five bloom stalks and each of them carries um, up to five, four to five flower buds like this one. This variety grows on my west facing window under a combination of artificial LED light and natural light. I supplement the west facing window light because that window is partially blocked by the neighboring building and so it doesn't really get the full amount of west uh, facing sunlight during the day. So in addition to the to that sunlight, 
I add the light fixtures uh, with two bulbs on the stand. Uh, one is the warm yellow light at 3000 K uh, color temperature and another one a cool white at 6500 K color temperature. That's my cat getting vocal during the recording. She wants some attention or treats. So as I mentioned, I grow this uh, plant on a wick uh, like all of my other plants with a diluted dosage of fertilizer. Um, and the fertilizer that I'm using currently is this variety. It's called Dina Grow Liquid Plant Food and it has the dosage, the, ballot, the ratios of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium at 795. So it's a very weak, um, well, weaker kind of fertilizer already. Some of them are, uh, have, uh, have ratios at 20, 20, 20, or 7, 15, 7. Um, so, and I uh, use it at half strength, strength during winter season um, now that I noticed that the plants have been slowing down their growth, normally I add one and a quarter, uh, a quarter of a teaspoon per gallon of water, um, and now I'm adding one eighth of a teaspoon. So here it is again, Sunkissed Rose by Linden Lion Greenhouses and Debbie Herringshaw. I hope you enjoyed this variety. I, I love it and um, it's one of my lighter colored varieties that I plan on keeping uh, and I, I really look forward for it to bloom during the summer season and show me some pink uh, color on the petals in addition to yellow. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you like this video and would like to stay tuned for future videos, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and I will see you again on the next episode of my African Violet Reviews.